This week, the New York Stem Cell Foundation Research Institute, or NICEF, published two really exciting papers on Alzheimer's disease. In the first paper, we were able to take biobanked brain tissue from definitively diagnosed Alzheimer's patients and make stem cells from that tissue. And then we were able to make neurons from that biobanked tissue from those stem cells. And this is incredibly exciting because it means that we now have neurons from patients who are definitively diagnosed with sporadic Alzheimer's disease. These living neurons show the uh, Alzheimer's and neurodegenerative phenotypes we've seen in other uh, diseases. It's, this is really an important finding because it allows for the first time the direct comparison of postmortem tissue and live cells from the postmortem tissue and the neurons from patients that are currently living. The second paper that we published, uh, which is a complementary study, uh, we were able to make stem cell lines and neurons from patients who are affected by a uh, rarer form of Alzheimer's. Uh, those patients have a very, very early onset form of the disease um, and carry a mutation called the presenilin-1 mutation. We were able to make a model of this uh, early onset form of the disease and what is very exciting is we were able to identify 14 new genes that were upregulated uh, in this disease. And so this gives us the opportunity both to be able to compare the rarer early onset uh, form of, uh, of Alzheimer's with the more typical sporadic form of the disease, but also opens up the possibility of uh, drug targets.